Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Welcome to LaFrance Gymnasium for tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Holyoke Community College Cougars and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. The NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. Thank you for your cooperation. Now for tonight's starters. First, for the visiting Cougars. Number zero, Sam Monette. Number three, Saquon Johnson. Number five, Jaquan Rogers. Number 10, Michael Castillo. And number 15, Moshan Alvarado. The Warriors are coached by Chris Montmayer. And now for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At Ford, out of uh, Pontiquet High School, number 10, Joe Lopes. At Ford, from the Washenden School, number 11, T.J. Henry. At Guard, from Durfee High School, number 2, A.B. Madrano. At Guard, out of New Bedford High School, number 4, Chad Angia. And at guard, out of Greater New Bedford Volk, Cational High School, number one, Stanley Freeman. The Bayhawks are coached by Brian Fernandes. Now, if everyone would please rise for the playing of our national anthem. All right, good evening, everybody. The stage is set, the anthem is played, and we're getting ready for another season of Bayhawks basketball here on FR Media. How you doing, everybody? David Cardoza here on the call. And it's hard to believe that another basketball season is up on us. It seemed like we just left you just yesterday. And now we're getting ready for another season, the 2019-2020 campaign. The Bristol Community College Bayhawks coming here two and two. They're in white with the green lettering in Holyoke Community College. 
making a long trip here today. And they are in the dark rain. And we're getting ready for the tip. And here we go. And they're off the tip. Alley-oop attempt, no good. Rebounded by returning sophomore Stanley Freeman. Goes the length of the court and can't lay it in. Rebounded by the Warrior, by the Cougars, I'm sorry. Going into the lane and putting it in the basket. Saquon Johnson, number three. He'll put the first points on the board for the Cougars. It's a new season, and there's also a new coach on the sideline this year. Coach Brian Fernandes is at the helm. The first coach other than Rob Del Lou to man the sideline. Coach Rob Del Lou, nearly 200 wins in his tenure here. Did a great job with this Bristol Community College Bayhawks program. He stepped down in August. Coach Brian Fernandes has taken the baton from Coach Rob Del Lou and what has been a very successful Bayhawks program. Number 10 number th with the three, gonna be short, and it's gonna stay here. Two nothing, we're just getting going. Again, welcome in our live stream, our Facebook audience. Thank you all for joining us. Stanley Freeman will inbound for the Bayhawks, kicks it out to Angia. And they're gonna call a kickball there on the Cougars. 20 on the shot clock. Again, broadcasting from La France Gymnasium. Bayhawks won their first home contest on November 4th on a Saturday afternoon game. A lot of new faces on this Bayhawks team catching it in the paint. And it's going to be Cougars basketball. Again, a lot of new faces on this Bayhawks team. Stanley Freeman is the only returning starter. Bayhawks are in 2-3 zone. Both teams starting off in zone. Oh, pass underneath, loses it. Chad and Gia with the basketball. Kicks it back out, swinging into the corner to Freeman. Cross-court pass, and Gia for three, nails it. And the Bayhawks take the lead. 3-2, and that ball sails out of bounds. It'll be Bayhawks basketball. We have a good crowd in attendance for today's game. All right, they get it down low. Holyoke doing a good job of collapsing on them. There it is. Holyoke in a fast break, going up. And landed in is number five, Jaquan Rogers. Holyoke zone, very effective here on the early going. Oh, nice fake. Seven on the shot clock, they'll kick it back out. Three pointer, it's good. That's number two, A.B. Madrano. 6-4, two three-pointers by the Bayhawks. Has them with a two-point lead. Bayhawks bench into it. Chance of defense. Ten on the shot clock. Jumper no good. Missed by Alvarado. Oh, and then the putback attempt is no good. Freeman for three, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Michael Castillo. Driving, slicing into the lane, nice dish inside. Can't get it to go, rebounded by Angia. That was a nice driving dish there by Saquon Johnson. They couldn't finish though, strong inside, way off the mark. Driving, puts that up, oh, but I think number 10, 
Michael Castillo went in there and interfered, and they're going to take that basket away. That's a shame. I think it was going to go in on its own. But Michael Castillo did, did give it a little nudge. Holyoke really extending that zone. Oh, nice job by Anchia to sneak in and lay that one in. Good job. Nice cut to the basket. Eight to four. Again, Bristol two and two on the young season. Crazy that they played four games already. Jump stop stolen away by A.B. Madrano. A.B. bounce pass to Freeman. Puts it up off the glass. And they're going to call a foul. And Freeman will step to the line for two. Bristol with the 8-4 lead early on. Two three-pointers have contributed to that. This Bayhawks basketball team, they've been something to deal with here in Region 21 the last handful of seasons. Last year, they had their highest ranking that they've ever had since the inception of the program. Getting up as high as number four in the country. They had their best record of all time last year, finishing 26 and four, ultimately losing in the semifinal of the uh, New England, the Region 21 tournament at Bunker Hill. Three-pointer is good by number three, Sequan Johnson. And it's 10 to seven. But Bristol, Bristol's had some great teams over the years. They're looking for another great season. Number three, oh, that ball rolled out on him. The offensive rebound and cut to the basket. Sticking with it is A.B. Madrano, And giving Bristol a 12-7 lead. Good hustle there. That's a great job by Madrano, And it's stolen away. Freeman leading the break. Bounce pass underneath. Laying it in is Chad Angia. And Bristol getting jiggy with it now. 14-7. Holyoke's going to call a timeout. And they'll need that timeout. 14-7. 14-16, left to play here in the first half. We're going to take a break here. We'll be right back here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. All right, we're back here. Here we are again, 14-7. Bristol with the early lead. Nice double there in the corner. Kicking it back out to Quan Johnston. Can't get it to go, but the offensive rebound by Michael Castillo. Get a box out there. If you're Bristol, Castillo got in there. Can't give them second chance opportunities. They've had a couple of those. Bristol really needs to move this zone. Got to get some good passing. Ooh, that might have looked like it was steps there, but no, TJ Hendry. He seems to be the lone big man. He's probably the tallest guy on the team, or one of them. Going into lane, little floater. Can't get it to fall. Leading the break is Madrano, and he tried to get it to number 13. Just sailed out of bounds. Sixteen and nine. Good job by the Bayhawks with a double. And knocking it out of bounds is Freeman. But it's going to stay Holyoke basketball. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Number zero to inbound. Monet, oh, nice block there. Nice block there by TJ Hendry, that was. 13 on the shot clock. Floating up is Johnson. Can't get it to roll. And we'll see what the call is. And they're going to say it's possession arrow in favor of the Bayhawks. Bristol looking to get over 500. They would, they would be 3-2 with a victory today. 
Only one team foul, and it's on Holyoke. Both teams pretty much playing a clean game. All right, they're going to call a turnover there. I think it's going to be a push away from the ball on Chad and Gia. Twelve forty-eight to play, and that. Again, it's a new season of Bayhawks basketball. Coach Brian Fernandez in his first season. From the wing, it's way off. Push up to Freeman. Nice pass. And the slam. T.J. Henry with the flush. 18-9. Bristol's defense definitely does look effective today. And their transition game, that three-pointer is off the mark, rebounded by Chad and Gia. Stanley Freeman seems to be the quasi-point guard for this team. The up-and-under move is no good. I mean, on past teams, Bristol's always had Somewhat of a floor general, whether it's been Marcus McCarthy last year, who was an All-American. We've seen it in previous years. The primary ball handler, the floor general, has always been one di distinct guy. But, but that might have to come from a, a few different sources, a few different ball handlers. So there's no true point guard on this team, so it'll be interesting to see Who's going to be that playmaker? Who's going to be that floor general, especially when things get tight? 2-3 zone. They kick it back out. That ball gets lost in the shovel, picked up by Bristol. And losing it is A.J. Medrano. But it's going to be off. Holyoke. Stanley Freeman's going to inbound, gets it inside quickly. And they're going to call a jump, and it's going to be the Cougars basketball. Driving, good job by cutting, cutting it off. Medrano, Solon, up ahead. Oh, he lost it. Right back into the hands of Holyoke. Going to the basket. I'll tell you what, Saquon, Saquon Johnson for a little man. He's feisty. He gets into the paint. And he's not scared to go up strong. Bristol's going to take a timeout. They're going to take a full timeout here. 11-12 to play here in the first half. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. 18-9, Bayhawks have the lead, 11-12 to play here in the first half. Saquon Johnson at the line, drains the first one. Cuts the lead to eight. Again, so now, substituted in the game. Number 13, Krishan. He's in the game for Bristol. And also number 15, Number 15, Dom Santos. He's come in. So a couple substitutes for Bristol. A couple substitutes, too, as well for Holyoke. They got number five in there. Jaquan Rogers in the corner. Jumper short. Rebounded by A.B. Medrano. They'll swing it around the perimeter. 17 on the shot clock. Santos looking to drive, kicks it back out. It's a deep three by Freeman, and he nails it. Stanley free. Or should I say Stanley 
three men. 21 to 10. For this Bristol team to have a shot in Region 21, Stanley Freeman, returning sophomore, the only returning starter from last year's Region 21 leading group. He's going to need to be sensational. Turnover. It's going to be Bayhawks basketball. And now they're going to say it's a foul on the Bayhawks over the back, pushing the back. So it's actually going to stay right here, Holyoke basketball. And inbounding underneath their own basket. It's going to be the Cougars. Rogers to inbound. And stolen away. Madrano, A.B. will lay it up and in. A.B. Madrano. And he's been one of the key contributors in this first half. 23 to 10. Halfway through the first half. It looked, it appeared as uh, Jaquan Rogers lost that off his foot. But evidently, it went off one of the Bayhawks. Bayhawks in zone. That little floater is no good. Second chance attempt, no good. Third is blocked, and they're going to call a foul on Krishan. They're going to call a foul on 1 3. Number 25 at the line, Mike Millis off the bench. Boy, is he a big boy. He's solid. He's like a brick. First free throws miss. Bayhawks actually have 16 fouls now, so. Six compared to the, uh, the Cougars, one. Second free throw. And I believe they called a lane violation before he even shot it. Someone get into the lane for Holyoke, so that basket wouldn't have counted anyways. Bristol with a 13-point lead. Freeman again. Yeah, Holyoke is matched up in man now. Cross court, oh! Ooh, goodness gracious, TJ Henry. Just couldn't connect, and they're losing it. Stanley Freeman going the other way, and lays it up and in. Hasn't been textbook, but hey, Bristol's up by 15. Shot in the corner is short. Rebounded by the big man, Millis. No good. And the putback by number 15. Moshan Alvarado cleans up the mess. Freeman driving to his left, solid. And he's going to get fouled. And they're going to they're going to call that on the drive. It's going to be on number 25. Freeman inbounds. And Gia thought about it, then puts it up and nails it. He pumped fake once, and then he thought about it. And he's like, oh, I'll take it. And he nails it. Good decision. 27 to 12. Oh, around the back pass. He telegraphed that one. And Gia comes up with it, and then he's fouled by number four. Foul is going to be a Kawain Jackson. Substitution now. Tom Santos is going to go out of the game for the Bayhawks. Number three, Brendan Narciss checks into the game for the Bayhawks. 
He's out there with number four, Chad Angia, number 11, TJ Hendry. Stanley Freeman and Joe Lopes, number 10, Stanley Freeman, number one. So on the other side, Mike Millis, number 25, has come in. Number four, Kawain Jackson. And he's out there with Kawan, uh, Saquon Johnson. And number 15, Moshan Alvarado. And number zero, Sam Monette. Rounds out the five out there for Holyoke right now. 8-10 to go. All right, Holyoke matching up man to man. Saquon Johnson was right there in Stanley Freeman shorts. From the top, and Gia for three, no good. Bristol doing a great job defensively, only giving up 12 points. Been a great defensive effort. They've done a good job in transition, forcing turnovers and getting transitional points. And I think that's something that Coach Rob Dell lose his teams in the past have always done. Play effective, de play effective defense. Get out on the fast break. Use their athleticism to their advantage. It's kind of been the M.O. for the Bayhawks over the years. And first part of a one and one is good. Michael Castillo. They are in the bonus. The Cougars in the bonus. 17 fouls by the Bayhawks. Second free throw rims out. Rebounded by Joe Lopes. Bayhawks looking to push. And the Bayhawks especially, since they are undersized, and that's going to be, they're going to call a double dribble. That's going to be a turnover, A.B. Medrano. Bristol is undersized. They don't have the, uh, the big men like Joshua Winbush. All-American. Three-pointer. It's good. That was Kawain Jackson for three from the wing. 28-16. Coming off a pick. Lopes rolls to the basket, puts it up, and they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul on Narcisse, number three, over the back. There's a long way to go in this first half, and Bristol is in the penalty. They have 18 fouls, so Cougars are in the bonus. They'll be shooting free throws the rest of the way here in the first half. 7-13 to play here in the first half. Again, Hello out there, Facebook audience. Welcome for another, another tremendous season of Bayhawks basketball here. I'm David Cardoza. 28 to 17. First free throw is made. And second free throw is also made. That's Moshan Alvarado. 10 point lead. Bristol's been up by as much as 15. There's a three-pointer, Narcisse can't get it to go. Rebounded by Jackson. Bayhawks, ooh, nice pass. Nice pass by Jaquan to number 15, Moshan Alvarado. Bristol's gonna take a timeout after that, 28 to 20. 6.46 to play here in the first half. We're gonna take a break here on FRC Media. Your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. All right, welcome back, everybody. 28 to 20. 6.45 to play here in the first half from LaFrance Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Bishop Conley High School. This is the home of the Bishop Conley High School Cougars. 
Bristol Community College playing the Cougars of Holyoke, though. That's a three. A.B., no good. Tipped and rebounded by the Holyoke Cougars. That's a deep three by Jackson. Can't get it to fall. Oh, you got to get that rebound, and there's a foul. Michael Castillo with the rebound. Puts it up and in, draws the foul, and he'll go to the line. And just like that, Holyoke has cut into this lead. It is now 28 to 22. Castillo can make it a five-point lead, which was once a 15-point lead. So Holyoke has slowly been cutting into that lead. And part of that is Bristol's just been in major foul trouble. Now they're 19 fouls, 618 to play. And actually, they're 10th team foul. So every Bayhawk foul committed after this will result in two free throws for Holyoke. If you're scoring at home, 28-23. Madrano, dribble drive, goes to the basket, loses his footing. T.J. Hendry can't connect on the putback. God. Saquon Johnson, he's a magician with the basketball. Can't find the bottom of the hole, though. Freeman needs to look up, and it sails out of bounds. He looked up too late, and that, that pass just sailed on him. It's too bad because Madrano was waiting there. And now things get dicey. Only four team fouls committed by the Cougars. Oh, nice bounce pass by Monet inside. Alvarado connect. He can't connect. Freeman to bring the basketball up. Number one. The sensational sophomore. Kicks it. And Gia from the top. Oh, bounces out. They had what they wanted. And Gia just couldn't find the bottom. And they're gonna call, they're gonna call a travel. It's gonna be a travel call. Sequan Johnson. Lost his pivot foot there. Here's Freeman. Holyoke matching up man to man. Setting the pick, going to his left. Strong is Angia. Nice dribble drive. Strong to the basket off the pick. And he'll extend the Bristol lead to seven, 30 to 23. From the free throw line, Alvarado kicks it back out to the wing. Monette, short, the jumper is good from 15 feet. 30 to 25. I believe that's Sam Monette's first points. 30 to 25. Saquon Johnson, he's sticking right with Freeman. Freeman goes strong to the basket. I believe he had that partially blocked by Alvarado. Jackson weaves it to the paint, puts it up. The floater's no good. And it's going to be going Bristol's way. Number 23 is in the game for Bristol. Number 23, I apologize if I say this wrong, Tendop Pufong. Holyoke playing some tight D. Freeman, I believe he drew some contact. On the drive. Foul call on Holyoke. Inside, Hendry, nice. Nice inbound pass, and Hendry with a little fadeaway in the paint puts Bristol back up by seven. Another season of Bayhawks bad. Monette for three. I thought that was a half hearted uh, job there by Monette chasing his rebound down. Bristol gets the ball back.
And Gia looking to drive. Puts it up. Nice dish to Hendry. Ooh, I, think, I believe that was tipped a little bit by Castillo. Good defense there. And Saquon Johnson will turn the ball over, throws that one out of bounds. Actually, it's going to be off a Bristol player. I believe that was off Pufong. Either Pufong or Freeman was in the area. Oh, nice pass there. Monette for three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound by Freeman. Coming up on just three minutes to play. Freeman di dives into the lane. Score it. Freeman for two. And Bristol is up by nine now. Zone. Rebounded by Ngia. And Gia, I mean, Bayhawks are driving uh, Bristol nuts with their traps. And Gia steps back, puts it up off the glass and in. Fundamentals, baby, fundamentals. You can see him just line that up, too. Good job of using the glass. You don't see kids use that, use that glass anymore to their advantage. Nice shot there. Driving. Monette gets it inside to Alvarado. Kicks it back out. Monette for two. No good. Another rebound by Freeman. He's been a monster on the boards. Nice find to Ngia. He can't connect. <laughs> look, at, look at Johnson. What is the call? <laughs> Saquon Johnson might have got it for a travel call. 36 to 25, minute 54. We'll keep it here. All right, Bristol. Pufong. Inbounds to Freeman. Again, Saquon Johnson, he's been sticking right. Well, Freeman blows by him, goes to the hole, went for the slam. Nice aggressive drive there by Freeman. He'll go to the line for two. Sequan Johnson is very speedy. Number three for Holyoke. Stanley Freeman definitely has a size advantage. Right there, he blew right by him. But Bristol doing a good job of setting a pick for Freeman to get him loose on, on uh, Johnson. Brandon Narciss will come in. Chad and Gia goes out. 37-25. And now both teams are in the bonus. Second free throw. Gets the friendly bounce. And Bristol has extended a lead back up to double figures. They're up by 13 now. They get as close as five. Here in this first half, just a couple minutes ago. Nice little fake and drive into the, into the paint. And Saquon Johnson will step to the line for two. So Holyoke has been playing mostly man-to-man -man in this game. And Bristol, it's funny because over the years, they've been a man team. They've been a man all over the court kind of team. Very rarely have you seen them in zone for extensive periods of, at a time. But in this game, they've been all about the zone and all about their half-court traps out of that zone. And it's been effective. It definitely has been effective. They've been forcing turnovers. And Holyoke really hasn't been able to do anything consistently on offense. And now number five, Jaquan Rogers is on Freeman. That ball's a loose ball. Narciss gets it knocked away. Jaquan Rogers. Castillo spins, puts it up, no good, and they're going to call it over the back. Yeah, definitely. Michael Alvar uh, Moshan Alvarado goes over the back, commits a foul. 
And now it's going to be a one-on-one. -one. Should be shots here. It is going to be. Tendop Pufong. Number 23 steps to the line. We have a substitution that took place just a second ago. And actually, we have one now. Number 34, Nate. Nate Gowandler comes in, sees his first action of the first half. Pufong misses the first end of a one on one. Driving to the basket. And they're going to call a foul. Oh, actually, they're going to call steps. And and they're going to call a technical foul. And I believe the technical foul is going to be on Castillo. Didn't like the travel call. Had some words to say. And the ref teed him up. That's a technical foul. 38 to 26. So Freeman, Stanley Freeman will shoot shots. And Bristol will get the possession back too. Freeman nails the front end. Second free throw is good. Both free throws made. And Bristol will keep the ball. And this could be a huge shift. Holyoke climbed right back in this. It was a 28 to 12 game at one point. Holyoke went on a run to make it 28 to 23. But Bristol's up this thing back up to 14. It's 40 to 26 now. Chance to make it even a larger deficit before we go to the break. All right, so we get a foul on. We get a foul on Holyoke, number one. Daquan Hall. Daquan Hall, who's a new substitution for Holyoke. He commits the foul away from the ball. And Brendan Narciss puts that up in, up and in softly to tickle the twine. 41 to 26. And Bristol. What a nice soft shot by Narcissus. Just like a throw in a sock into a hamper. <laughs> Three-pointer by Jackson. The three is good from the wing. And that will stop the bleeding. They needed that. 42 to 29. Shot clock is off. Bristol will hold for the final shot of the half. Here's A.B. Madrano. And they're going to call another foul on number one. He doesn't like it. Daquan Hall, that's his second, second foul. And he's, he's come, been coming off the bench. And he already has two on him. First free throw by Brendan Narciss is no good. Brendan Narciss, number three, freshman coming in. And he'll bury that one. So Brendan Narciss buries three out of four free throws here. And they're going to call a trap. No, referee's going to call his time. I guess even the referee needs time. 43 to 29, nine seconds to play here in the first half. Bristol, despite some pushback from Holyoke. I mean, it's been all Bristol. Rogers slices into the paint, puts it up. No good. Oh, the putback is in. And that's going to end it for the first half. Bristol with a 40. 43 to 31 lead, 12 point lead for Bristol. 
And it is halftime here at LaFrance Gymnasium here in Fall River. And you've been watching Bayhawks basketball here in the first half. We're going to take time here. And we'll be right back for second half action. Join us on our Facebook athletics page for more Bayhawks bas basketball second half action. We'll be right back. Welcome back for second half action. Halftime summary. Bayhawks, 43 to 31, have a 12 point lead. Bristol zone has been very effective. They've caused a lot of turnovers, fast break points, allure. And they've really been getting after it. It's really affected Holyoke. First half, Chad and Gia led all scores with 14 points. And there's TJ Hendry from the free throw line for two. Stanley Freeman had 13, A.B. Madrano with seven, T.J. Hendry with six. Leading scorer for the Cougars as they turn the ball over there. Leading scorer for them was Sequan Johnson, he had seven. And Moshino Verado with six. Michael Castillo with five. But not a lot of scoring for the Cougars. 45 or 31. Well, that's your halftime summary. And here we are with second half action. Thanks to all who are joining us here on the Facebook page. Saquon Johnson with the steal in the passing lane goes up for the lay-in. And he'll get fouled, I believe, by the sophomore Stanley Freeman. And that's going to be his second foul. First team foul for Bristol and Saquon Johnson. CJ, number three, first free throw. Bounces out. Just underway from LaFrance Gymnasium. Second home game for the Bayhawks this year. First game. They did win. They were victorious. Bristol 2-2. Two two. Second free throw was good by Johnson. 45-32 here. Chad and Gia gets it inside. Fade away by Freeman. By Henry is no good. Cradled by Moshan Alvarado. Stolen by Freeman in the passing lane. Going all the way to the rack and lays it in. Actually, yep, they're going to score it. No, actually, it's, they're going to call an offensive foul. Great job by Saquon Johnson to get there, get position. And Freeman was like a locomotive. He went slam right into Johnson. Saquon Johnson, you can tell. I mean, he just gets after it. Nice dribble dish and the slam attempt. No good by Alvarado. And Bristol tried to push it back the other way. And it's stolen by Holyoke. Coming away with it right now. Rogers kicks it to the corner. I believe Bristol's in 2-3 zone. Nice pass. But Alvarado... Lobbying for a foul call. He couldn't get the layup to go. Here's A.B. Gets into the lane. Puts it up, up and under. No good. Forty-five to thirty-two. On a chilly November night. A week before Thanksgiving. Bristol with another, causes another turnover. Freeman with the ball in his hands. Oh, and they're going to call steps. Got a little too overzealous there. They're going to call a travel on A.B. Madrano. Rogers, Jaquan Rogers and Sequan Johnson in the backcourt for Holyoke. Dumping it in there to Castillo. Castillo tried to kick it back out to Monet, and he goes out of bounds. Bristol basketball. So Holyoke with their initial starters that they started the game off with.
Freeman, cross court pass to AB. And they're gonna call another they're gonna call another travel. Gonna flip that ball to the floor. Second travel call on AB. Referee giving uh, AB a hard time there, but his shirt getting tucked in. Looked like a drone instructor. Three point shot by Rogers. Can't get it to go. Monette with their offensive rebound. And what do we get a call here now? What's the call here now? Do we have another referee's timeout or what? Holyoke's going to inbound nonetheless. They're going to inbound from beneath their own basket. Just a few minutes here, just a few minutes in here on the in the second half, 45 to 32. Now we have an adjustment on the shot clock. Shot clock is, no, back to where it was. Shot clock's at 20. Holyoke with the basketball. And I think we're having shot, shot clock problems. Now, we'll down, now they put it at 15. Monette. Looking inbound, gets it to Saquon Johnson, puts it up off the glass for two. He's got nine, or he's got 10. 45 to 34. Again, Holyoke. Again, Holyoke playing man to man. Inbound is Freeman. And Gia turns around, three-pointer coming off. The rebound and putting it up. And just want to make sure they do call it. And they're going to call with a push. And they're going to call number 15, Moshan Alvarado, with a push in the back. And he completes the three-point play. That's Krishan. Holyoke turns the ball over. And it'll be Bristol basketball. And we have a tech another technical foul. The second of the game for Holyoke. These refs here don't play. Not sure who's chirping. Holyoke has been chirping all game. Ref's not liking it. Freeman will drain the first one. And the second free throw was buried by Freeman. He's got 15. 49 to 34. And Bristol will get the basketball going the length of the floor. So number 13, Krishan. He's in the basketball game for Bristol, along with A.B., Chad and Gia. There's A.B. right there, gets it inside. Hendry. And they're going to call a foul. That's going to be... Probably the third foul of Moshan Alvarado. 
Bristol with a 16 point lead. Alvarado's gonna check out. Number 25, Mike Millis is gonna come in. Freeman driving to his left and they're gonna call a foul on, they're gonna call a foul on Saquon Johnson on the drive. Moshan Alvarado, number 15, he's out of the game now. He's got four fouls. And that's the fourth foul on number three, Saquon Johnson. So he needs to watch out. Because obviously he's the floor general. He seems to be the engine for Holyoke. And he's, he's in big foul trouble. Surprised he's still in the game right now. And actually, as I say that, he's going out. Number 11 will check in. Number 11's going to check in. Omar Santos, Ozzy Santos, number 11 is in for Holyoke. And he shoots and he scores for three. I almost had soccer on the brain. He's like, he shoots and he scores. 50 to 37. Freeman, left alone for three, nails it. Stanley Freeman. 53 to 37. We're going to take a break here. Holyoke will call, calls a timeout. 15 24 left to play here in the second half. We'll be right back. All right, we're back underway here. Short break, driving all the way to the basket. All the way to the hole is Jaquan Rogers. Lays it up and in. 53 39. A lot of time left in this one, 15 minutes. Madrano to his left, loses it out of bounds. Referee's gonna stay, it stays here. Both teams with three team fouls. Madrano looking inbound, nice inbound play. Henry had a good look at it, couldn't connect. Rebounded by Millis. Rogers gets it over to Ozzy. Can't get it to go. And now they're going to call a foul. I believe this is going to be on Chad and Gia. And actually, no, they're going to call a foul away from the ball on Stanley Freeman. And that's actually his fourth. So he's probably going to sit for a little bit. He's their leading scorer right now. Driving, Rogers, and Rogers starting to heat up. Count another two for him. Holio cuts into this lead. It's a 12 point lead now. Santos back up top to Madrano. Madrano loses it out of bounds, and they're going to say it's off him. Good defense there by Ozzy Santos, number 11. And Madrano just lost it. But Santos is right there, playing some good D. Castillo drives to the basket, gets the lane, score it. And Holyoke is within 10 now. And with Stanley Freeman out of the game, this is where Holyoke can make their charge. Stanley Freeman's defense and his rebounding that he brings to the table. Obviously not to mention his scoring punch and leadership, and it's a three-point play by Castillo, and it's a nine-point lead. This game has seriously been a game of runs. Madrano doing a lot of dribbling, gets it inside. That's a deep three by Angia, just gonna be short. Falls to the hands of Bristol. They get a new shot clock. They never reset the shot clock. And they're going to call steps. It's going to be a travel call. Possession arrow in the favor of the Cougars. If you're just joining us on our Bristol Athletics page, Bayhawks have a nine point lead, 53 to 44, 13 52 to play. It's been all Bristol. Holyoke has made their runs, but it has been all. 
It has been all Bristol, but Holyoke has cut into this one, 53 to 44. We'll take a short break, we'll be right back. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, 13, 52 to play. Don't go away, this game's getting tight. Stanley Freeman in foul trouble, he's got four fouls. So he finds himself on the bench at this time. So we'll see when Bri Coach Brian Fernandes as uh, Michael Castillo raises to three, three fingers because he nailed that three-pointer in the corner as I was blabbering on, 53 to 47. It is a six-point game now. And Gia puts it up off the glass and in. Boy, did Bristol need that. That was a clutch shot there by Angia to stop the bleeding. Rogers pushes it back up the other way. Good defense there by Chad. 55 to 47. Bristol's been as up as much as 16. They enter the first half with a flurry. Millis pounds his way to the basket. Solid like a brick wall. Puts it up off the glass and in. Mike Millis. He's come off the bench and been a key contributor. It's a six-point lead. We have ourselves a game here, folks. And Gia in the corner for three. Off the rim. Boy, Millis has been a solid, solid body in there. Rogers getting double teamed out there. Oh, wow. Jackson thought about a deep three there. Bristol doing a good job all day of doubling out of that, out of that zone. Forcing a bad shot there. Alvarado picks up for three. I mean, Madrano for three. And Gia for three. Off the side of the rim. TJ Hendry with the putback gets the bounce. <laughs> That's what's going to happen if you give Bristol multiple opportunities. They'll make you pay. Especially at home, the kick to the corner. Jackson for three, way off, but the rebound again by Mike Millis, and he's fouled, and he'll go to the line. Boy, has he done a great job off the bench. He's given them a catapult for sure. Solid toughness in the interior. Doing a great job rebounding. And boy, has he been a force to deal with. Bristol giving up a lot of weight there. They don't seem to have an answer for that as um, Millis misses the, the, uh, the, the three-point attempt. Madrano going all around the world, puts it up, and they're going to call a blocking foul. And they're going to call a blocking foul on Ozzy Santos. And A.B. Madrano. He'll step to the line for two. That's the 14 foul on Holyoke. Bristol has six. So we'll continue to monitor that. Because one more team foul committed by Bristol. And Holyoke's going to be going to the line for the remainder of this half. Both free throws are missed by Madrano. Here's Rogers, taking it all the way to the basket and score it. I mean, if you're gonna follow him, follow him. I mean, he went right through there. And I believe they're gonna call that foul on. I believe that foul is on TJ Hendry, get his hand in there. But you gotta stop his pass to the basket. Rogers has been stepping his game up and that's a three point play the old fashioned way. And it's a, now a three-point lead. This has been as close as it's been since early on in the first half. Driving to the basket. And Gia getting caught up but puts it about the glass and in. I didn't know if he thought he wanted to pass it or what, but definitely an athletic play by Angia. And boy, has he been getting key baskets to stop 
Oh, stolen away. Bounce pass up to Angia, leads the way and put score it. Nice steal there. That was a nice steal there by number 24 on that last play. Now Bristol defense comes alive. Castillo with the off balance three, and he shows us the three fingers. <laughs> 61 to 57. Madrano into the paint, kicks it back out to the corner. Boy, Castillo has been huge too for Holyoke. Driving, and Gia fall away off the glass. Nothing but glass, rebounded by Millis. Sixty-one fifty-seven. A lot of time to play as we approach the midway mark for the second half. For this uh, second half, inside is Castillo, and wow, he almost connected in another one as he goes to the line for two. And just so quickly, number eleven. Actually, no, the foul is going to be on. Number 13, Krishan. And yes, number 13, his name is just Krishan. You know. So I'm not sure, I think we might have a lane violation for Bristol. Yeah, that, or that first free throw didn't count. And Castillo, or maybe it did, but either way, Castillo scores it, and it's a three-point lead for Bristol. 61 to 58, Bristol, they had a 16-point lead once, once upon a time. It is now a three-point lead with 10.02 to play here. We'll take a break right here. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're right back here. La France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Mass. Stanley Freeman is back in the game. So with under 10 minutes to play, Stanley Freeman, despite being in foul trouble, back in the game. Freeman nails that from the elbow. Freeman comes back in the game and hits a much needed shot for, for Bristol because since he's been out of the game, Holyoke's been on a tremendous run to cut this game to what is now a five point lead. Business is picking up here. Ooh. Almost a travel call there. And we get a foul, we get a foul away from the ball at number 24. Number 24, Joel. Joel Di Cavallo. And they're going to get him with a hold away from the basket. And Bristol's in the penalty now, so 9.22 to play. Every foul from here on out. Holyoke is going to be in the bonus, so they'll be shooting free throws. Jaquan Rogers hits the front end of a one and one to cut this lead to four. And it will stay at four. In the lane, though, who else? Michael Castillo. He's been putting this team on his back, especially here in the second half. And this lead, all of a sudden, is a two-point lead. Freeman being guarded closely by Santos. That free throw jumper was no good. Tipped up and ripped away by Mike Millis. Boy, does he bring the toughness. Rogers loses it on the floor. Let's see whose possession arrow goes in, and it's going to go in the favor of Bristol. Sixty-three, sixty-one. First year coach Brian Fernandes has his team at two and two. Looking to win their second home game of the year. 
Bayhawk schedule has been has been loaded with a lot of a lot of away games here in the first part of the season. Good thing is in the after the Christmas break, it'll be a lot of home games. But I think of a lot of away games for a new team that is trying to gel with this new head coach. I think it brings a lot of, you know, camaraderie. Good, good, good way for a team to get to know each other and go through the grind. Eight on the shot clock. Freeman goes to the hole. And they're going to call a charge. The little man, Ozzy Santos, takes a charge. What heart, because to get in front of that locomotive, that Freeman going to the basket. And Santos feeling the love now from his teammates. What a gutsy play to get in there and take the charge, and he's feeling it right now. He's feeling it, and he's feeling it where you don't want to feel it. <laughs> he's doing a dance. Good for him. 63, 61. <laughs> 63 to 61. How about number 25 for Holyoke, Michael Mills? The minutes that he's given them. He's given them a shot in the arm off the bench for sure. Ozzy Santos for three. Boy, that would have been something. Can't connect though. Eight minutes to play now. Madrano crosses over. He just can't. That, that defense now by Holyoke is picking up man-to-man. -man. They're doing a good job switching, too. Hendry off balance in the paint. Can't get it to fall. And let's see who they call it on. They're going to call it on number 10, I believe, Joe Lopes. And Bristol Bristol's starting to show some frustration now. First game of the year. Brought to you by FR Media. But we're in mid-season form now. Make no mistake, Santos. Oh, nice flip inside to Millis. Oh, he can't get it to fall. Santos. Back up to Angia. Angia for three, nails it. Boy, did they need that. And then G has shown that he got three fingers too. 66 to 61. And then Gia, boy, has he hit big shot after big shot after big shot. Just when you think Holyoke is going to take over. And Gia hits the shot they need. Santos for three off the front of the rim and off. Rebounded by Lopes. Here's A.B. Madrano. Lopes coming up to set that pick. Madrano for three. Nails it. Back to back threes by Angia Madrano. And boy, do they need that. That's huge. 69 to 61. Big shot there by Madrano. And now, what was a two point lead hanging off a of dear life is now back up to an eight point lead. Millis for for, from the free throw line. He got fouled on that shot. And he'll step to the line for two. 6-16 to play. Bristol's a foul away from the bonus. Right now, Holyoke is already in the bonus. Seventh, seven team foul on Bristol now. Actually, it should be their eighth. And uh, Mike Mills gets the bounce there. He's been huge here in the second half. Yep, 18 fouls now. There it is. Second free throw, no good. Falls to the hands of Lopes. Coming up on the six minute mark. Seven point lead. 
Holyoke still sticking with that man to man. And Gia tried to get that one inside. Got knocked out of bounds. Millis will take a seat. And in will come Moshan Alvarado. Ooh, that ball knocked away. Bristol got away with one there. Santos kicks it out. Madrano thought about it. Fakes the three. That puts up another three. And there it is. Madrano with a great fake. Found his spot and drains it. And Bristol, just like that, back up 10. Going to give a lot of kudos to Bristol. Every time Holyoke has made a run, she cut the lead to within a smaller margin. We've seen this game 63 to 61. And since then, Bristol's been on a 9-1 run. Going all the way to the rack, Tayshawn Johnson. I mean, Saquon Johnson. Surprised we, I'm surprised we haven't seen Saquon Johnson until this late. Hendry turns around. Oh, it spins out. Oh, that would have been big. They feed it inside to Alvarado. Alvarado on the baseline. Gets his own rebound. Oh, and blocked by Hendry. Bristol has a good little trio there of guards. And Gia up and under. Oh, score it. Chad and Gia. 74-62. Timeout on the floor. Bristol on an 11-1 run. 4.41 to play here in the second half. We're going to take a break here on our Facebook Athletics page. We'll take a break here on FR Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. All right, coming out of the timeout, Holyoke could call a timeout, 74-62, 441 to play. And like I said, it was 63-61. to Around the eight or nine minute mark, and it's 74-62. to That's an 11-1 run by Bristol. Three-pointer by Rogers, way off. Rebounded by the Bayhawks. Bristol doesn't need to force anything. They have a comfortable lead. They just need to have good, solid possessions. And Gia for three, nails it! And that could be it. And Gia could have slammed the door shut in Holyoke's face for tonight, 77 to 62. That was a dagger three. In the corner, Castillo trying to answer, and he won't. Not this time. Madrano going back the other way. Oh, he had Santos open. Oh, but he somehow puts it up and in. Madrano swoops it to the paint. Didn't even see the ball. He's like a magician. And knocked away, and now Bristol's trying to run away with it. Literally, Madrano into the paint. Dishes back out to Angia. Santos back out. Angia wanted to pull it. He's going to. Oh, rebounded by Krishan. And a new shot clock. And uh, Brian Fernandez, he likes it. And Bristol extends it back up to 17. And that's their largest lead of the ball game. What a whirlwind. What was a two-point game with about eight or nine minutes to play? Not, not too long ago is now a 17-point lead. I mean, here we're thinking that uh, Holyoke is, is going to take over Bristol. They got to within two points, but that was it. Stanley Freeman came back in the game, and literally, the Bayhawks were on their way. He came in, Stanley Freeman came in, made a two. And it seemed like ever since he came in, He gave them a little shot in the arm, but really, the guys who've catapulted this team are Chad and Gia and A.B. Madrano been draining threes. So that's kind of been the story. Holyoke made their run when Stanley Freeman went out with foul trouble.
But Freeman not even in the game. And actually hasn't even been in the game for the last few minutes. Seventy nine to sixty two. I'm not sure if he fouled out. He missed, might have missed that one. Madrano gets it inside. Hendry with great position. Just couldn't get it to fall in the turnaround. And they're going to call a travel. I think they're going to call a travel there. And they're going to call a foul, actually. Bristol wanted it. Jaquan Rodgers will step to the line. And this is going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation here. Next foul, though, by Bristol will be a double bonus for Holyoke. Holyoke's literally going to need a miracle here. Just under three minutes to play. Bristol looking to looking to it looking to be two and zero at home, three and two on the young season. Veterans Day last week. Happy, happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. And Thanksgiving next week. Hard to believe it's that time of year again. Basketball season. Gotta love it. Drive it to the hole. Rogers. And I believe they're gonna call a foul, and Bristol is uh, in the double bonus now. Or I should say Holyoke's in the double bonus because they're going to be shooting free throws. Two free throws from here on out. Don't, don't think it's going to make a difference. First free throw, Rogers puts it up there nice and, nice and soft. Tickle the twine. 15-point lead, 2.37 to play. We've seen stranger things happen. We've seen it on this court. 14-point lead. Chad and Gia, boy, has he been huge. Madrano, he ain't scared to pop it from out there. Being got up by Johnson. Oh, Johnson knocked it away from him, picked his pocket. That's going to be big for them. And he cuts it to within 12 with two minutes to play. This one ain't over yet. Holyoke's definitely going to need a stop here. And that's going to be a foul. And that's going to put Bristol in the bonus. I'm not sure the 17 foul on Holyoke. Let's see who the foul is on. Foul's going to be on Jackson. And Gia misses, and that's big. Huge possession here for Holyoke. Under two minutes to play. Johnson for three. Can't get it to go. Castillo oh, gets it blocked, but Millis is there. It's a 10-point lead. Don't go away yet. Bristol has this game in their grasp. And uh, give credit to Holyoke for hanging in there and Still playing with some tenacity. Just think they're going to run out of time. And there's a, there's a turnover. That's not what you want. And this is where things get a little dicey. And Holyoke on a 7-0 run. They're definitely going to need to make a shot here. Johnson puts up the floater. No good. And that's going to be that's going to be it. I think Holyoke need to score there if they're going to have any chance. They're going to need to start fouling. Bristol getting kills with the basketball. Oh, Johnson going after it. Oh, what a block. But I think did they call a foul there. I think it was just a clean block by Madrano.
Ooh, we have a technical foul here? Who's the technical foul on? And this is exactly what you don't want, because Holyoke, with a chance to make a couple here, they cut it to within single digits, and they're going to get the ball back. I just don't think there's enough time for them, though. Second free throw, buried. And they'll get the basketball. So, like I said, we've seen stranger things happen. We've seen it happen in this gym. But Bristol... Definitely did a good job today. Castillo, off balance, the three is good! And it's a five point game. Can you believe it? 53.6 seconds to play. And now, Holyoke can put the pressure on Bristol and definitely force them to, uh, to make some free throws, clutch free throws down the, uh, down the stretch here. 79 to 54, it was just 79 to 62. These runs, I tell you, it's been a game of runs, and um, Holyoke is on a 12 to nothing run. It was 79-62. They scored 12 unanswered. And Bristol has taken a timeout here, so we'll keep it here at La France Gymnasium, home of the Bishop Connolly Cougars. Holyoke, they're right there. A lot of time left, but they can, they can force a turnover here cause Bristol to do something silly. Because now they're going to match up man-to-man -man full court. So Bristol's going to have to be very careful with the basketball. And um, they will, they're going to force Bristol to make these free throws. And this is going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Only 18 fouls for Holyoke. So Brandon Narciss, he's going to need to make the front end or it's going to be Holyoke basketball with a load of time left. And see what the young man can do. And he'll sink it calmly. That's a big free throw. Six-point lead. He can make it a two-possession game. Or a three-possession game, sorry with a free throw here. Crowd nice and quiet. And the referee's gonna wave that shot off. How big is that? Brandon Narsis stepped to the line calmly and clutchly, if there's a word, but there's a lane violation. Oh, look at that, look at this. Good job by Rogers there. Maximizing their time. Rogers loses it. And that was big. And that could do that could seal it. Yeah, you get a score there if you're Holyoke. You get to at least cut it to within four. And now step it to the free throw line is Krishan. Krishan. First year of the Bristol program. Free throw is missed, and he gets his own rebound. And Holyoke, they had their chances here down the stretch here. And there's going to be a foul by Jackson. Still a one-on-one, one, though. So he has to make the first one. 80-74. to 74. Again, it has been a game of major runs, but Bristol has, they thwarted off the attack. Bristol goes up by a lot, Holio cuts back into it. Bristol goes up by a lot, Holio cuts back into it. But Bristol always answers. And it's a free throw, it's missed. I'm not sure what they called there. They call a lane violation, second free throw. Is sunk. Holyoke definitely going to need a three ball here. Johnson cuts it to the lane, puts up a floater. No good. Kicking it back out. Monette for three. No good. Rebounded by Millis, and that's it. 
And Holyoke just runs out of time and, oh, knocked away. 81-74, Bristol on their way to their second home victory and their third of the season in five games, three and two. Going up, Madrano kicks it back out and Bristol will just hold on to it. And Holyoke with a valiant effort here on the road for the Bristol Community College Bayhawks with a huge victory here today. They needed this one to get over 500. They're three and two on the young season, 81 to 74.